I mean, is somebody gonna give us some damn direction? So, the Halo 5 Season 1 Finals was held in Los Angeles, California, somewhere at a place called LA Live. Um, I thought it, it was. Oh, wow, it, really? Yeah. It was that's like where, right by the Staples Center and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, that's where we play champs. Except it wasn't. It's a tent on a, on a garage. Yeah, no, we didn't play where you guys played. We played in some like abandoned building somewhere. That's, <laughs> that's legit. <laughs> It's not your dressing room one that oh, we just like two dressing rooms? Yes, sir. Oh, no. They're big. Gotcha. Oh, so we put our bags? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We still got some down there. Oh, who's gonna blow it up? <laughs> oh wow, it's legit. Fucking trick or vanity bar. To be honest, it was cooler than yeah. where you guys played. You guys played in some weird ass spot, but Dude, no, we I played know. in some random building. It's weird because the building just looks like some plain random building, but when you go up and into the studio and stuff, it's like you walk into a club. So, but no, it was pretty cool. Um, nice event. Our flag, our flag, our flag. Yeah, Bryce, yeah. Yeah. I'm a shot cloud. Yeah, yeah. 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 You guys, you guys run this. I'm on Ray. I'm on Ray. Watch out, Watch out, Watch out, Silo. Watch Silo. Watch Silo. All right, so the first series of the event, we ended up playing Denial. Um, they were definitely the better of the two AM teams. I'd say no offense to elevate um, but we ended up playing them first we're I guess pretty confident going into the series we didn't really know what to expect I don't think we ever played them like online or anything and they seem to be doing pretty well against other teams uh, but yeah going into that series it was off stream so no one was watching um, I think the guys felt a bit off just because it's been a long time uh, that any team has played each other with like another side station to their side playing at the same time so I feel like that kind of got in a couple of their heads and they felt that you know they're used to the conditions that only you know one two teams are playing in total you versus the other team you're on the stage and that's it and you know it's complete silence so I think they were thrown off by that a little I feel there were two maps that we choked so I think the series was Kind of off. Hey, nice cap, Aaron. Let's go. Let's go. Good shit. I'm sure I knew the world. Nice shot, Brad. That was good. Yeah, see this shit? I know, I know. I'm talking to them. This is this shit. I was playing this whole game. Time's like 3 2. Wait, what? Yeah, Brad had to play with We're going to get numbers right now. It's just that way you can have a fun combination. You played like that the whole game? It was 2 1, and then it had like 3 2 for optics. He's turbine. Turbine. Let's go! Dude, how did we fucking fail with Rock? Long story short, ended up losing. Two to four, or four to two, Denial beating us. Uh, I'll be the first one to say I was not playing a uh, good Halo during that series. Um, just wasn't proud of my performance. Not to say I was absolutely costing it for the team. I'm just one that'll own up to whenever I don't play good, and I didn't. So really, I didn't expect to win with me playing like that. I, I feel like we could have still won, but I, I don't expect to, um, to win when I play like that. And just like that, Optic Gaming comes out strong, taking game one, 128. A lot of great things from Optic that we didn't see when they were playing earlier on here today. They were really hyped up. They were communicating well, telling each other where and when they needed to go to certain locations. All right, so after that loss, it was a pretty tough one. It's definitely hard when you're at the finals to not be a little down after that series, especially losing to a team you feel like you are better than. Probably like two hours later on the main stage against Elevate, this was on stream. And um, long story short, we just ended up beating them four to zero. The, some of the games were close. I think two out of like the four games were pretty close, but we just, we were playing our game, playing pretty good. Um, I definitely stepped it up for that series. I started feeling myself, 
so we were getting, Laniac showed up. We were, yeah, Laniac, Laniac was getting warmed up. Oh, shit. So, so, <laughs> so we were getting back on track. See, this is Maniac. Now flip your hat around. I'm not moving no, this No, flip hat. your hat around and that's <laughs> Laniac. <laughs> For a coveted spot in the next season of the Pro League, Optic Gaming is still alive, folks. 97 to 35. That looks like it's going to be all she wrote. Optic Gaming is going to move on to fight another day here. There you see it, Optic Gaming staying strong. And just great play overall from them. They look like they're back to clicking here. They're so hit or miss over the regular season. Even after that victory, not a whole lot of celebration coming out from them, but it was a pretty convincing win. So Denial ended up playing Liquid, lost to them. So we met up with Denial in the losers finals, I guess you could call it. And this was for the relegation spot or for the eighth spot in the uh, in season two. The money match. Yeah, uh, this was a big match. It was win or go you know, home. How much pressure's on this? Obviously for yourself, your brother's up there. He is fighting for his pro league spot. Professionalism, you know, you are completely and completely single out here, but yeah, th there's a lot on the line. Everything is at stake here for Optic Gaming. Fathom CTF, wow. Craziest series I've been a part of. Thankfully I can say I was a part of it since, you know, I was behind them as coach. Insane. I work out a lot and, and I love working out, but let me tell you, standing up for that long just for that one game and seeing it over and over pissed the living hell out of me. I think we tied four times and then we, we went into an overtime game. There's, if you have an hour and a half of your time, you can go go ahead and watch that. One, if we see this game go to seven plus two replays already, that's quite quite an interesting series, and that can take a serious toll on these players. I feel like that kind of scenario here might benefit Optic Gaming, the more experienced veteran players, as opposed to uh, Denial here, who might not be used to an extended prolonged series. There was one crazy play, and I'm sure you all know what play I'm talking about. It was the Solar Charge from Maniac. Clutchest thing I've seen him do, hands down. Game one, but tied four times. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we ended up almost losing, but uh, our team, I'd say Straight Sick and I, made some pretty pretty clutch plays. Laniac. They ended up tying the game. Laniac came back. Laniac. Actually, oh. I, you know what? I was actually kind of mad because I went like plus 18 that game. Like, I was shitting, and they didn't show the stats. So, Lanny, I get screwed over here. Wow. Well, be their opportunity. Nobody in position to stop that. All members going here. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. And no one's able to put the flag oh in. The return my. is made as well. We'll be going into overtime. <laughs> This shit is in shambles. Scotty's full tilt. Scotty's full tilt. Holy no shit. Way. I would have been hugging my team. Dude, no, no, he they was hugging his dude. dude, this is insane. Yeah, this is I thought he got yeah. I thought he got assassinated. I thought he got railed. Oh, dude, dude, Scotty played that so well, dude. Oh my god. Dude, Scotty's Nothing. Scotty's tilted. Dude, Rain Cloud. I thought that was like the dude. flag with dude. This mushroom tilt. You know that one little I thought he was gonna pick up a lot of this close to tilting. Like Before game four of game one, the ref told us if we tie that game, that the next game will be a sudden death first ca first cap wins. So <laughs> first cap wins. So game five of game one was went into the sun death and we had a, ended up capping. Back does and straight sick pushing in the flag is just seconds away from spawning it just like that. That's it. I'm 99% sure that Optic Gaming just won game one, although I am so scared something's gonna happen and you we're gonna replay it again. <laughs> you didn't want to confirm it, but we'll confirm it. Optic Gaming Something do short of a miracle for Denial. Look can get at APG's call outs. This is what I like to see from this guy. He is yelling, he is full body strafing back and forth while shooting. He is celebrating. I think he thought it was a best of five. It's actually a best of seven APG. Let's make sure we focus on the next game here as well. All right, so after after winning game one, um, we were feeling confident, feeling good. We ended up going up 3-0, and then at that point, I figured the series was over. Um, 
but you thought wrong. At <laughs> at a tournament, you'll never. Yeah, you'll, I'm, you'll I'm never had it happen to me. Yeah, you'll never go easy, but it's always possible for someone to come back on you. But I thought we were just playing really well. I was playing really well. I'm feeling confident uh, every single game. Just uh, I felt like I was really playing my game. But they ended up winning two games straight, so the series was then 3-2. And then we were sitting there like, oh shit, wait a second. This might happen. <laughs> but, but no, we ended up winning uh, game six. So we won the series 4-2. Oh, it and didn't even go to game Oppen. seven? Nope. Oppen oh, Kalo's back for uh, season two. They're fucking back, boys. <laughs> All right, Laniac gets another shot. <laughs> <laughs> grab this one, start to put points on the board, just five needed now, and total control. This is gonna be it. Optic Gaming are gonna secure their spot in Pro League. They did it the hard way. We've been through, what, 11 games, but there we go, you can see what it means to these players. We'll see them in full season. And that was amazing. What a great series. In my opinion, the best one that we saw here today, uh, whether or not it was earlier in the day or just good shit, guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you have my own. We need more. Oof. Right? Line of it every week. Drop, dude. Where are you guys headed, boys? Where are you guys going? I'm going. Uh, What's on the plan? Hi, how are you? You made it out. Yeah. Of course, I had to see you guys. Matches on the way once again. 12 p.m. Pacific time. We'll see. Um, there have been talks of. Team changes. It seems everyone in the top eight is making a change. Um, there's also been talks about me retiring. Um, I also mentioned in one of my videos if we didn't qualify for the Pro League, I was 100% retiring. But even with us qualifying in the Pro League, um, there still seems to be talk of that. And that's something, it's definitely something I kept hidden and I didn't want known until after this season. Um, the only people that knew were really my teammates had a subtle, um, I guess I kind of told them very... Under the table. Yeah, under the table. A good choice of words. Um, <laughs> I kind of told them under the table. And, and same with like some of the guys in the house. Um, but I kept it very low key because I didn't know when you were in the when we're in the position that we were in and just losing like just take a look at our record for season one it is it's not something to be to be proud of and um, it just wasn't it wasn't like fun to be a part of that and that's not to that is not like shitting on my teammates or my team at all it's just we were one of those teams that just didn't perform well during the season and it just it wasn't fun so the talks of retirement or whatever were definitely brought up and I don't want people to think me having these thoughts in my head would affect my play or the amount of time I put in because if I play it's 110 um, percent but yeah it's it's only fair I think for you you guys to know that that is something that was in my head and kind of something that's has been in the midst here in the in the optic house and for the optic halo team this is depressing as fuck bro wanna like pass uh, it yeah. down the line there we go yeah. <laughs> that's cool <laughs> yeah, i like it that's i got to say i've seen i've seen it inside my wife says she's got an idea to seal it so they all stay there so what is that it's an inspired babe dude i didn't i thought you guys would have like material <laughs> you and, that? like your own I have posters and no. esl would bring stuff yeah. You guys legit need to like watch old men of optic matches. Dude, you, you suck. Like literal old men. Just sit there and watch Jay, Diesel. I'm the best. Me. <laughs> You're the best. And and Hutch play <laughs> S and D. All right, S and D, and that's how you learn how to play S and D. Because you guys can be loose in those shits, man. 
That's embarrassing. That's, that's their yeah. best map, and we lost 6 5. I know. Last time we got 6 0. Yeah, we got 6 0. Yeah, yeah. I was like, instantly, I was like, we're not playing with a man over. Oh, sorry. Oh, Damon, the fullback. Yeah. Super God. Canadian came out sore. Uh, play every day. Don't do anything else. Play some more. That was our practice. That was our schedule. That was okay, your li schedule. Listen. I heard you on at 4 p.m. until like 4 a.m. Like yeah. Probably every day. Yeah. Because listen, <laughs> if you want to be great, obsession is a necessity. Okay? But you know how many people probably play just as much as you and just yeah, but they like don't, top 32? They don't get it. They don't get it. Okay? I'm playing, watching at the same time. <laughs> you know, cross that, what's the opposite ways? Because I got three, I got a tri monitor setup. I'm playing with one eye, watching the competition with the other. Okay? Damn, I need to get three monitors. Yeah. Three monitors. Never thought of it like that. See, I don't I get it. Fucked up eyeballs. That's what you need. <laughs> <laughs> we played TK first. Early enough time for TK to make it back. But that's three dead in favor of Opti Gaming. That's a 3-0 sweep. But TK played the hell out of that first half. And Formal is using all of the streaks in the end. So they basically just blew an 8-2 lead. And you got to give all the credit in the world to Opti Gaming. <laughs> I think we beat them 3-1 or something. Hector's brother ended up roasting half of TK, and TK started roasting back. Oh, mid series? No, no. While the series was over, like uh, while we were, we were fist pumping, we were doing this, and then some, some just popped off. I was laughing the whole uh -huh. time. It was like some 2009 Halo. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. But then next series, LG beat him 3-1. Take him out, but it's gonna be Krim picking up the flag. It's gonna be Karma watching mid map. <laughs> And then we played Kingsman, went last map. Has him in his sights, Crim six with two. Now looking for a third gift and as well. Crim for all four. How does he do oh it? My God. How is that possible? That is game five, Crim at his finest right there. I've played against it. That is something that you do not know. It's gonna be a really tough one v three if you want to pull this off. He's uh, he's gonna get spotted. I do not think he has any hope here. Maybe. Oh, heat wave. Heat wave. He has heat wave. This is possible now. Please, please, my heart. My heart. One I can't three. handle this. Parasite. Parasite doesn't. Oh, no. oh, no. about panicking on the main stage. 1v1, Karma, Marks, everything in the world. Fellas. I want to see it, man. I want to see it. Just I think one. this is the game that can go to a game five. Let's see what happens here. Rise versus FaZe. Chris, you know this FaZe squad probably better than anyone else at the desk here. Coach of the squad when you're not at the live events. What can you well, tell what? me about this FaZe team? Is this team Pool C? I, mean, you know, I think we all know the progress that they've been trying to make. If this is Pool C. We play the team that the gets second. Though. Yeah, this is C. We play the second team on C, right? I don't know. I don't know. They can compete with them. They have that kind of talent. You just have to put it on the same page. This is probably their test right now. They went to stage two. They had a disappointing performance. They played COL, a little shaky. What? 
for the moment. Rise Nation now pulling back in. They are on rotation for this last one. Huh? This is what On my palm. Ever. And it just keeps like boiling and boiling. Vision content 101 with Hitch. It. Signatures. See? Oh my god, oh my god, you also threw it on her face. <laughs> So, um, if you're going back to LA in a few weeks, I think it's just hard. I can. Well, this was predicated on Hector saying that you were going to be back in LA. So, and where do you get this information? Actually, it's, you know what? Hector just makes stuff up. Yeah. What do you think? No, I remember, why are you looking at my hair? <laughs> is that true? You know, <laughs> you know why, right? Because you know why. <laughs> anyway, there's a, what is it, GameStop Summit? So, yeah, there's a uh, GameStop Summit. So, you two guys will be will be heading out and repping out there. <laughs> because you guys are best friends. We're just going to... Come on, dude. Somebody else wants to meet you. I can Send give like the money. Friends. Yeah, what's up? I can give the money to somebody else. Yeah, I'll do that. What's up? What's up? I don't know about that. <laughs> what? We don't film that. <laughs> don't film me. Send it. What's the way you sit over here? What? That's how I get dressed. Every morning. Just like that. Dude. See ya. Catch you later. Don't film me. Wait, what's guys? He's zooming in here. Yo, what's up, Florida? Check it out. Much love. In my chest? <laughs> I wouldn't do that to I don't have any hair, I'm yeah. still... <laughs> but, oh, should but, 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 still growing! Yeah. Just put it on your belt for me if you don't mind. Belt? <laughs> belt? Well, <laughs> waist. Dude, what's the deal? <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, and everyone that I send you, you seem to like. Yeah, I look good. Yeah, I'm going to you like them. You know what, Orlando has always been that city that always shows up. All the fans come out. Every single fan does whatever it is that they need to do to make sure that they show up at least one of the days, if not all three. Uh, there was people that came from, from all over the place, but you know, Orlando has always been one of my favorite places to go. And I'm not just saying that because I like to fish the, the place, okay? Yeah, it helps, but the, meeting the fans there is always amazing. They're very respectful. Uh, I, I cannot tell you how many times there was an opportunity for fans to come up to us while we were eating or while we, we were strategizing and they gave us the space that, 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 uh, that, we, that we needed. Right? Respect to all of you for that. Every single one of you that saw us in the middle of something that, saw, that could have took the opportunity to come up to us and say, hey, can I get a picture? Hey, can I have your autograph? You know, while we were eating and all that, like, thank you, like, legit. You, the Orlando peeps know how to how to handle themselves in a public space when when people that they uh, that they look and watch every single day are in front of them. Crim six spot damage has now been done. Ground zero take the early lead. Crim six though still a force to be reckoned with with this tempest. Now did saw one player over around the fence. But he's going to focus inside a barn where he's able to take up dive off. Ground zero able to open it up with a flat cap oh now. My. Crim's going to pull the flag. Turn on a player with the tempest still though traded by center. Oh my god, what the hell? It's like a five feed. Oh, and then he pushes out and it almost gets this one. Oh. I don't know why they spawn there. I thought you do they spawn there. That's why you chase out there. Sometimes, like I mean, yeah, they spawn there, but not when you push like close. Yeah. Because you push like right away, too. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit, what's he about to do? My man, horrible slight sniping like an old hex, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Except for the fact that I, I don't use thermal, though, you know? Yeah. I'm like the, the Black Ops 2 Karma DSR god, you know what I'm saying? Snipers are good. Yeah, I was completely pooping on him the whole time. I think that you guys may have seen Adam's tweets about how he thinks MLG is rigged for Optic.
But honestly, I was just 316 tempesting him, so I could see why you might think that. No, but one shot I had was like unbelievable. Like if that happened to me at a tournament, lose full the entire tournament <laughs> long, I'd be bitching the rest of the tournament. So it was that. It was actually insane. Tries to find him in the corner, not able to do so. It's going to be formal trying to clutch. There's the glitch. Can he find the kills? Classic still holding the corner. Tries to make it a 1v1, but not able to do so. Why? Classic clutching up yet again. Why would you fly in there if you're stumped out using that? I mean, you know they have that one-point advantage. Yes, it's elite, and yes, you can win this if you're optic, but when you're switching over to the more preferred side, you gotta feel pretty damn good about Rise right now. You see weapons coming out from everybody. It's the site now up for him. Able to find one. Karma has one as well. The pressure coming forward. The clock is dwindling. Drone in hand for Krim. Has to hit the shot. They're already lining up in the back for the interception, but can he get it done? 15 seconds left. Wrapping around the back. They're all stacked up. They're ready for the pick. The shot is on the top, and it's good. Optic hits it. Seven seconds left. Can they get the draw? He's a reset and they have got it. Great for that unbelievable individual play. They cut that money as he goes for a run point for all day. And on this gaming makes the comeback. Barely made it. First two maps. We outplayed them, we just lost when it, or we choked when it mattered. Uh, at the very, it wasn't even when it mattered, it was like the last seconds of the game. Like we got ninja'd in the SD, and then the hard point, uh, it was tied like 225, 225. And uh, they just, I, I think they, they were set up to rotate, and we had the, like, the last 10 seconds of the old hill, and that's what screwed us, so. Right away. And now it seems like Rise Nation has pinned the guys on Optic inside Snow. Formal makes a big play though going towards the mid map. Yeah, it looks like he was able to switch classes that he hadn't taken a shot. Should come up by one. There's the one pop. There's the fourth round. Optic gaming two rounds away from the reverse. They're sweep. all around him, but now the kill's getting traded out. He's got to get into the action. He has to find it. There he's able to find one. There are three more inside. He's got one to his left. Just trying to figure out the route here. Uh, let's hop up to Karma's POV as he is able to find one. Now turns into 2v2. Has one more in front. The wave comes out. Able to pick up the kill and is now on Looney in a 1v2. He has Heat Wave to work with. Remember, Optic Gaming has to play the Diffuse. This is a 4v2. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, my God! Completely open. Looks like Rise is kind of baiting them into this A play, and it's going to be Scump with Bomb leading way. And you could say potentially they use the camo here to get out the back and make a play. And Krim's going to have one lined up. Nice shots there from Krim. You see Scump's going to pick up one in the kill feed. It's going to be, should be it. Octane. The glitch is in. Can Octane get it done? It's going to be a 1v2. Rise, he hits the edge. The Tommy by the horn, but he's able to pick it up. Has to turn around. Scumpy's there, and there it is. Game five, six, one. Feeling good. We had no idea that if we lost, we would have had a play that night at like 2 a.m. Or I don't think Rise. Yeah, I don't think Rise that. played, but the other side of the bracket played, and I was like, oh my god, because I not not necessarily would I have tried a lot harder, but like that, like I always perform better when pressure's on, and like if I would have known that, I would have been like, fuck. Yeah, because weren't like, people that playing to like 2 or 3 a.m. and then yeah. you have to wake up at 8 a.m. Yeah, yeah, the next exactly. day get down to the venue. And I didn't I didn't know where you're going <laughs> all the way back to 2011 events. Yeah. Where that was a norm, that was a norm back then. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, no, I was just happy we get to sleep. Dude, Matt, that guy, dude, when I was like, well, yeah, no, when I you went you like side door and I was like, preem, 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 and he just showed up out of nowhere, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, dude, I literally coached Matt to, like, the easiest kill. Like, it was random, dude. The guy, like, there was two bottom mansion door when I died. 
and then Matt like pushed from window to mid, and a guy was just on the right side, bought us. I was like, fuck, I literally just cost us that round. We could have went 5 5. Wait, are we gonna have to know what food do you want? So. I think we played a different Elevate team than the one that showed up on Saturday. Saturday they beat Elevate beat FaZe and LG and basically won their side of the bracket and then on Sunday I don't think they won a single map. So I don't know what happened there. I, I would say a, diff a different Elevate team showed up on Sunday than Saturday. So Who's on that team? Uh, the usual. <clears throat> I don't know. Nagafin, Aqua. Facento and Fellow. Dude, basically, the team, anymore. basically the team that got second at last year's champs. Behind the flatbed, just yeah, strafing bro. it. Bro, he fucking. And I finally just rushed him. No, he killed died. like five of you before one of you flanked. It was like three. You guys were like, he was no, like shooting ducks. No, I flanked ducks. every time. They were That's watching. what I'm saying. He kept jumping over and cameraing that thing. It's so hard to kill people. Dude, dude they yeah, double so stacked hard. yard every single mid though, dude. I started like one and six. I was like, oh, this is gonna be rough. And I, I started turning around. Yeah, him and Bryce were killing me for subs every time. I knew going into that map, dude. I was like, "Fuck! I am not warmed up. If, if I get in a gunfight further than 20 feet, it's gonna be a struggle." <laughs> so I said, "Me and Matt kept going back alley, dude. Could not hit Aqua back there." Oh, dude. I feel the crazy thing is, I feel like when you're not warmed up, though, like you get some uh, random hip fire kills. Oh, yeah. uh, you just start hurricane uh, shot. You heard about it? Circle. You good? Facebook is going to be. Uh, they're doing a, a live feed of just yeah, your I'd like to uh, you know, start to come back and get some get a full story in this series. The sniper, the PO6, FMJ. There you go, bro. Bro, we were stripping all the way down. We were stripping all the way down. He literally couldn't get a dunk with camo. I told him switch. He got so good. Did you see the one I hit right before OT? Or right before halftime? But I picked the ball up mid and just chucked it on the ground. Oh, yeah. To get it 5 6. Yeah, Matt said something funny. What do you say? What? We hit the very one. We hit the one at the very end of first half. Oh, okay. they were all just like, oh. I was just like, honestly, that was pretty sick. <laughs> Yo, that was pretty nasty. Sam's like, I think you got that. Did like, you literally pick it up and threw it? That was, like, that was over the yeah. yeah, I know, right over middle. But Danny died middle. I killed Sam at the wall and I just oh. grabbed the ball and I was getting shot at and I just chucked it in the air. So. Oh. So you can't even <laughs> that was nasty. Good luck, pal. Hey, thanks, my guy. Watch out for the champ. Epis yet to lose in finals, pal. I mean, Seth, remember, Frail and Pale's away, dude. Yeah, right. <laughs> In the sneaky position, does everything you want. The dart so. comes in, scump with the try, the one before, they're done. 2 0 lead envy. And, and Apathy is only in that position because John is calling in the dart. So he's protecting John, calling in the dart. And just some fortunate circumstances where the guys on Optic are pushing right towards them, kills the first. I'll play them first two maps. I almost joined the agency, thank God. Well, actually, I'm already in the agency. Wait, what is that? They call me 009. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. What do you mean? When you go, when you drop a goose, oh. when you go 0 and 6, 0 oh. and 7, that's that's James Bond right there. I'm 009. I'm new and improved, baby. Wait, didn't you guys go I'm up 2 0 and they come back 3 2? No, we almost did. We did that versus Rise, but we almost did, and then it went <coughs> last map. <laughs> Bro, I'm straight cooking this. 
That's and they always do some demonic shit. Oh, how we lost that. Ready for it. Should find the first one. Able to find formal first kill coming in. Let's get the bars. The next challenge gonna come through. Trying to win it is Crim6 tagged up for pushing back. John not gonna be able to do so. 2v4, 1v4. Karma now has to win this to take the grand final. They're pushing up challenge, and that's it. We are going to a second best of five. And Apathy with a huge play there. <laughs> Whose hat is this? Thank you. Here you go. Take Did care, boys. All right. Over back barn at the MAs? No. Oh. What a, do we know the maps in there? They're going to be good. I just know that. I guess someone would probably be like Fringe or Strongwell? Yeah. Or you back here. Six rounds in a row. Okay, it's all good. Yeah. Okay, just literally, we, this is why we go for Yeah, I'm fucking like warmed up. Yeah, now I No, we're honestly playing fine. No, our respawn is we're playing. All we gotta great. work on yeah. is just, uh, just our SMD situation. Our small talk and SMD. Around and keep the momentum. Yeah, yeah. Good. Let's go. Let's go. If we win that, uh, we win that 4v3 thanks. when you died on a bomb, no, we would have. There's no way we're losing no. six rounds in a row. <laughs> no. Three minutes now. Three minutes. Okay, we'll be ready starting three minutes. Talent is on the way back to the desk right now. Formal they took the last map, CDP. What do you want? For the other two? Yeah. CDP on both. Okay. There you go. I like the moments easy. I have to go to the bathroom. So much strategy. Oh, I'm at. Wait up. I'm going to run into the bathroom, so I'll see you after your game. Love you. Now we're fucked. Now we're fucked. Now we're fucked. You need to lock down Banshee. Well, Envy's already set up inside. We'll take a look at the POV of John. He's going to be top. He's able to find one before he drops. Two left now for Optic. That's not a good fight you're ever going to win against Scuppy. He's got three in a row. We may have another lead change coming in. They're spawning them out rocks, and now they're looking to hold on. Karma going big inside. Scuff watching wall run. Let's get down to the front of the actions, and maybe Krim6 dealing with it. Are they going to push top? Are they going to push front? Here it goes. 15 points away. There's one win. There's a second win. Krim6 going big. Trying to close it out. The 240 mark is hit. Get up the game and, and get it done. And, and you look at the mini map and the clock, and Envy maybe has one really good attempt at trying to break this. Slasher gets one. Jcap with another. The pinch has to come in on Krim right now. It's going to be Scum picking up. There Krim. it is. Another. Door stays alive and finishes off slash. But we saw formal stand up. I just saw the last player is Apathy in top window. Needs to convert the 1v3 to extend this search and destroy. He's done. He's done. What can he do? You're under 30 seconds to work with. 1v3 tagged up past the back up, and it's Krim who's on a six streak. You're not gunning Krim right now, baby. Trying to challenge him. This battle's been going on for the better part of 15 seconds. Krim doing his job. Karma finds the kill and off they go too low here. The second best of five is gonna be a big 3-0 for the green wall. Yeah, out the game, he comes out, completely dominates here on fringe uplink. It was never really close. The search and destroy was a blowout, so was the uplink. And that is it, one second left, it ticks away. And there you have it, Octi Gaming are your MLG Orlando 2016 champion. Yeah, and then the next series won 3 0. Guys, class acts. I mean, I know this hurts for the side of Envy, obviously. Oh, you think you have it. You're pushing your best of five. Now, let's actually think about it. I like it because the MLG is. Like yeah, that jawline's chiseled down. Here. Anybody else want a picture with it? Oh, really? Picture? Thanks, I played my house. Sure. For your training. <laughs> yeah, you're working right here. You're training hard, really hard. I got it on my head. Oh, God. Good. Let's have a formal hold the trophy now. Yeah, like that. He didn't even want to touch it up there. I was like, dude, take it. He's like, no. I'm all about playing for legacy and importance of events and stuff like that. But this event honestly was not that important. 
Um, just because, I mean, obviously it's a huge event. It's way bigger than UMGs. It's just as important as MLG Anaheim. But the thing is, with COD Champs in three weeks, like, whoever wins this event, whether you're like, say, say we win this event, win XP, COD Champs, whatever, no one's even gonna fucking remember Orlando. Like, win or lose Orlando, like, it doesn't really matter. All it is, yeah. all, it, all it really was, and that's why I was saying that it's just practice, because all it really was was practice for a fuck ton of money. And it's, it was practice for the big one, to be honest. So, that's why I think a lot of teams, they weren't really upset that they lost. And uh, you guys probably don't know that, but, you know, all of us, all of us players knew that. So, uh, but yeah, and I'm... I want to say I'm not. I'm, I'm happy we won, obviously, but I don't want to have that deter our focus from practicing, and and uh, I don't want us to get cocky over over something that doesn't matter. So, yeah. I don't know. Optic is in a is in a very like weird place. I think, like for me, you know, I've been I've, I've been in it for such a long time that I know when when something's like about to just. You know, something's building, it's like a volcano. You feel the heat, you feel the, the tremors, and it's just like a matter of moments before it just blows up. And I, we, we, I've had this feeling before, and, and, and it's gotten us here, so. I, I, I hear the rumblings. I just don't know what it is, and I don't know what it's, what it's gonna do, but, you know, Call of Duty's doing good, Halo is gonna start, you know, doing better. I, I have faith in that. Uh, and, the, and the CSGO team, you know, the season's about to begin, and. And Dabs and the boys are gonna are gonna do whatever it is that needs to be done to to first become the best NA team for Counter Strike and then work themselves and work their way up in the in the global rankings.